Hey guys, so I was checking the forecast and it looks like rain is coming over the weekend. So I thought it's a good time to get out and start gardening for springtime and plant some seeds. So let me show you what I want to plant. Okay, these are the seeds that I would like to plant today. First of all, I really love peas. So I'm going to do a few different varieties of peas. So I've got my labels also and my trowel and a marker. Let's head out there. Okay, here's my garden bed. I went and added a little bit of compost that was in the white bag. Um, spread that out and then I went ahead and made a furrow for the peas. And those are the first peas that I'm planting right there. So I'm planting this one first and it says to space the seeds two inches apart. So that's about what I did right there. I made a label for the peas. It's a variety called Progress Number no. 9 and I put the date go ahead and put that right there so I can remember what I planted. All right, I planted a whole row of peas, you can see there, and labeled them all. Now I'm just going to close the furrows, and for that I just like to use my hands. So I'm just going to go and cover up the peas just like that. They really only need to be um, planted about an inch deep. So. Hey, so just a little update that I have been checking on my garden every day and I've been watering on all the days that it doesn't rain because if it rains and I don't need to water and generally you don't need to uh, water if it's raining or even the day after it rains it's fine but just make sure that the soil doesn't dry out too much because after you put the seeds in the soil has to stay wet so it's been a few days and I haven't seen any sprouts, but hopefully I'll see some soon and I'll let you know. Check it out. Look at this little pea sprout. This is 10 days later. Hey, look at that little beetle there. You see him walking around in the dirt. Look at him moving the dirt around. Wow. So yep, took 10 days to sprout. It's awesome.